Accordion blocks are a great way to display chunks of information in an organized manner. They're most commonly used in an FAQ section in order to display all your frequently asked questions. But if you found this video, you're looking for a way to display an accordion within an accordion, which you can't do using the regular Squarespace accordion block. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca Grace and I provide coding tutorials for Squarespace designers. So let's jump in. Here I have a Squarespace 7.1 site and I'm going to add some drop downs to my FAQ section here. So the first thing we're going to do is add the jQuery library. So you're going to scroll down to this section on my blog and copy this line of code here. Now it's very, very important. If you already have a jQuery library on your website, then you do not want to add this line of code again. So what you're looking for is one line of code like this that has the word jQuery in it and some numbers after. Um, at the time of recording this video, this is the most recent jQuery library, but you only want one loaded on your site. If you have more than one, they will clash, especially if they're different versions and some of your code will not work. So if you have a line of code like this already on your site, then you can skip to step two. Otherwise, you're gonna copy this code and then you're gonna to come to the site over here. Now Squarespace has been making quite a few changes to the menu. Um, so it used to be settings, advanced code injection. It's now settings, developer tools, and then code injection. But if you're having trouble finding it, you can just push the slash on your keyboard and then type in code and you'll see the code injection page pop up. So it's kind of a shortcut to get there. And you're going to paste that line of code in the header. Click save. Then you're going to come to step two and copy this code here. Now this will add the open and close actions of our drop down boxes and you're gonna paste those in the footer and click save. Now we're going to add the CSS. So you're gonna copy this code and we're gonna to go to the custom CSS. So that is under design custom CSS, but again, you can use the backslash then put in CSS and be taken kind of a shortcut to that page. And you're gonna paste it right here. We'll come back and customize this after. Um, we're just gonna get the drop boxes in and then we can come back and customize them. So our last bit of code is the actual HTML, which contains the content of our drop down boxes. So you're gonna copy this code here and then go to the page that you want the code on and click edit. Scroll down to the section you want the Dropbox in. So I'm gonna put a Dropbox here. Click add block and you're gonna add a code block. Click to edit the code block, delete the code that is in there and paste. Now I'll explain the HTML in here because this is where you're going to edit it for your content. So the first H4 is the question that will originally display your level one question. And then underneath that, this whole bit here is the answer is what will be contained within that dropdown. So you can have some text if you want some text before your level two dropdown. And then inside that, you'll see here is the second level dropdown. So you have the question that you're having within the question and then the answer within that. Now, if you want more than one level two dropdown, so you want one question, it drops down and maybe you have two or three dropdowns within that, then you're gonna copy from here to here push enter, and then paste it again inside of that. So underneath your final div, you should have two closing divs in order to close out that level one box. If you want a couple different level one boxes, then you can copy and paste the original code again and again for however many boxes you want. 
the black text inside of here is what you're going to change to have your actual answers and questions. If you're having trouble with knowing whether you have copied and pasted everything properly, a really good tool that I like to use is called CodePen. So if you go to CodePen, you can sign up if you want an account or just click Start Coding. Copy all of the code inside of this box and paste it into the HTML box here. Then under this arrow, you can click format for it to kind of restructure it and have it structured properly. And then you can click analyze and it will tell you whether it's found any errors within the code. So if I'm missing one of my divs here and I click analyze, it's gonna say that something's missing. We're missing a tag. And so you can look through and try and figure out where you're missing that opening or closing tag. If it's formatted properly, you'll see the open and closing tags are at the same level. So this open tag will match this closing tag because it's at the same indented level. You can also see these little arrows next to it. If I close this, then it will close everything that's within that level. So this is a good tool just to make sure that you have it, them all copied and pasted properly. Once you're happy with this box, then you can click save and exit. And you should now see a working drop-down box with some boxes inside. Now there's some things that we can customize inside of here using our CSS. So the first is the spacing between the boxes. So right now they're set to three viewing width, um, but if you want them closer together, then you can make that number a bit smaller. We then have the size, the font size of this first question, the level one question. So you can change that font size there. The border bottom is this line underneath. If you don't want a line, you can just delete that code right out. Otherwise, you can change the color as well as the thickness of the line. This padding gives the padding um, between the borders and the outside. So if you want the line closer, then you can change this to a smaller number. And it will kind of reduce the spacing and padding there. And then we have the font size of the level twos. So if you open this up, this is a level two question inside of here. So you can change that font size. This code here sets the space between the question and the answer. So you can make that smaller if you want these closer together. And this padding gives this indent. It has the answer kind of indent in. Um, you can set that to zero if you want them all lined up. Okay. This code here sets the uh, plus and minus drop down, so you don't need to edit anything there. If you want to change the plus and minuses, then what you're going to do is go back to the code page and change the plus and minuses right here. So this is what sets them being a plus and changing to a minus and back. Um, if you want to change that, then you're going to change it here, here, and here. You should now have a working multi-layer accordion drop-down box on your Squarespace website. Check out these next videos for more CSS tips and tricks.